Now, news is coming in. The Raj Bhavan Secretariat has asked the state government to give details of files and proposals that were cleared on the 22nd, 23rd and 24th of June. Now, the direction comes amid allegations that the following uh, the rebellion of Shiv Senek, uh, that is the Shiv Sena MLAs, a number of files were cleared and government resolutions, that is GRs, were issued in a hurry in Mantrale. Uh, let's go across to Alisha for more information on this. Alisha is reporting from out, uh, uh, outside uh, Devendra Fadnavis's residence, also Shivangi joining us from outside of Matoshri. Now, Alisha, to you first. Uh, this news that we are getting now, give us more details in terms of the order that's been issued by uh, the governor and also of allegations that have been made by the ruling dispensation. Well, yes, uh, there was many letter that was uh, given to the uh, uh, Raj Bhavan, to the governor specifically, stating that uh, there are many of the government uh, resolution that has been cleared by the ministers and specifically taking uh, uh, the benefit of the situation that is ongoing. And we know that uh, even yesterday, a Mumbai-based lawyer has given a letter stating that there are more than three... 60, uh, 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 the resolution, government resolution has been cleared. Uh, it's just in a mess. And what now we got to know that the Raj Bhavan Secretariat uh, had asked the gov state gov uh, government to give details of the files and proposal that is cleared on June 22, 23 and 24. Uh, this directions come amid allegations that uh, following the rebellions of the Shiv Sena MLAs, a number of files that cleared and government resolutions issued in a hurry in Mantrale. And even we know that last week where uh, Santosh Kumar is the principal secretary to governor Bhagat Singh Koshyari has also uh, written, uh, uh, has, uh, has uh, written to chief uh, secretary. So uh, we have also accessed the letter that has been uh, given uh, to... Uh, 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 letter given to uh, uh, the, uh, to the Maharashtra government is what I've been said, and it's clearly an indication. If I ask my camera person to show this letter, if you can show, this is a clear letter from the Raj Bhavan that has been uh, given. It is from the Raj Bhavan secretary given to the state government asking for the details of the proposal of the proposal that has been cleared by Maharashtra government in a, in a week and they have been asked to give a information of the file that has been cleared. If I read what has been mentioned that, uh, it, it is clearly mentioned that uh, in this regard, I am directed to request to kindly furnish the complete background information about the government resolution circulation circulars issued by the state government on 22nd, 23rd, 24th June as also the deliberation decision taken by the state government on this day for being placed before the Honorable Government as mentioned by Article 167 of the Constitution of India. So this is a letter that has been accessed by Republic TV has clearly stated that uh, they have asked, uh, Raj Bhavan uh, Secretary has asked the state government to give the details of the government resolutions and the circulation that has been passed by the state government in this uh, huddle, in, in this uh, hurry situation. Yes. Right now, Alisha, this uh, letter clearly states uh, that uh, they have asked for all crisis decisions that were made uh, to be uh, sent to the governor and all files relating to it. Is that what it says? Well, yes, uh, there, uh, Nupu, there were several uh, letters, the complaint that was given to Raj Bhavan, clearly stating that uh, uh, they have been taking a government resolution. There are many of the uh, bills or uh, there are many of the circulation that has been passed and cleared by state government in this situation when many of the ministers are not present. We know that there are nine ministers uh, uh, of which uh, four are the cabinet ministers, uh, five are the cabinet ministers and four are the MOS. Yet the uh, decision has been taken and yesterday Uddhav Thakre has taken a decision to give the portfolios of those ministers to the ministers who are present in Mumbai. But even before that we can see there are many of the resolutions, there was a circular that has been issued and uh, it has really raised the question because we know that the Shiv Sena MLAs and the ministers are out of Mumbai. They are not even working. Uh, and uh, that also PIL has been filed before the Bombay High Court asking Ekna Shinde to come back to Mumbai. But yes, these are the uh, resolution and really raised the question on uh, the resolution that has been passed, that has been cleared by, uh, by a state of government and now 
when we know that uh, the Raj Bhavan Secretary that already issued a letter has given a ultimatum to the state government asking to give up uh, the preparation and uh, they have been asked for the reports of the letter that is uh, been uh, uh, the letter or to answer on what are the government resolution or the circulation that has been passed on June 22, 23rd and 24th. Right, absolutely. As you're pointing out, of course, uh, these are details of what we are getting right now. I think we have also managed to access the letter and Samiksha has that letter uh, with her. Now, Samiksha, could you read uh, for us through the uh, letter? Now, what uh, we can see is that it uh, directs the state government to share all those uh, deliberations, decisions taken by the state government on the dates from the 22nd to the 24th. Samiksha, are you there? All, all right, I don't think she's there, but just to tell our viewers what this says, now I'm just going to read out the operative part. It says, in this regard, I'm directed to request you to kindly furnish the complete background information about GR circulars issued by the state government on the 22nd, 23rd and 24th. Now, Samiksha is, I think, back with us in the news pit. Samiksha, uh, can you take us through the operative parts of this uh, letter? Yes, yes, uh, Nupur, if you can hear me, we've accessed the details of this letter. Let me just read out the operative part of it, which says that in this regard, I'm directed to request you to kindly furnish the complete background information about the GR's circulars issued by the state government on the 22nd, 23rd and 24th of June 2022, as also the deliberations, decisions taken by the state government on these days for being placed before the Honourable Governor as mandated by Article 167 of the Constitution of India. So this letter that has been uh, signed by Santosh Kumar and clearly mentions, you know, uh, the, the, the details uh, are very uh, important here. Let me read it ag again, the operative part of it, which says that I'm directed to request you to kindly furnish the complete uh, background information about the circulars that were issued by the Mahavikas Agadi government and these uh, circulars that were issued on these specific dates that have been mentioned which are the 22nd, 23rd as well as the 24th of June as also the de deliberations, decisions that were taken by the state government on these days for being placed before the Honourable Governor as mandated by Article 167 of the Constitution of India. Nupur. Right, absolutely. Samiksha, thank you for that. So this, uh, of course, is after complaints were received by the Honourable Governor from Praveen Darekar, that's the LOP of Maharashtra. Uh, I'm going to also bring in Priyanka now. Priyanka, uh, uh, how do you think this is going to go forward now? The Governor has clearly in his letter uh, said that he believes that certain decisions were passed uh, in the last two days in a hurried manner. This, of course, comes at the allegations of the LOP. Well, that's right, uh, Nupur, as Alicia was also breaking this uh, information as far as this letter is concerned with respect to the GRs uh, that had been uh, passed by the government. And uh, in fact, actually, we're right outside Sharad Pabha's residence. Let's, uh, there is some movement. Let's actually pan our cameras as well as we speak about this letter, uh, Nupur, because uh, it is about the Article 167 as uh, mandated, as it has been cited in the letter as well. And Article 167, in fact, uh, Clause A, uh, also talks about uh, the niche decision for the communication to the government for all dis uh, state and decisions of the council for the ministers for relating to the administration of the affairs of the state and proposal of the re legislation as well. Now remember, citing this as well, in this letter there has been, uh, you know, uh, all of the de decisions, all the deliberations that have been done by the state government will be presented before the governor as well. And we, there was of course a point of concern and a legal point that was also being argued as far as the uh, as far as the supreme court hearing is also concerned of whether or not the governor who uh, acts on the aid and counsel of uh, the chief minister and the council ministers uh, uh, as well can actually call for a session in the assembly for the floor test as well now in that uh, in the backdrop of that we see these kind of developments that are taking place and uh, of course uh, yesterday as well we had seen uh, something uh, similar in nature where we had seen the shiv sena leaders also come out and say that this is now a legal fight and that we're going to fight this legally as well. And now we will have to wait and watch how, how this entire session pans out and whether or not this will come to a floor test. And if it does, where, which way it will really be leading, uh, that is uh, something that we will have to wait and watch for. Nabur. Right, Shivangi, uh, to you next. Uh, Shivangi, is there any sort of response that we are getting to this letter that's been issued by the governor from the chief minister? You're reporting from outside Matoshri. Anything that you're hearing? Right. 
All right, uh, Nupur, so as uh, numbers keep piling up, uh, you know, in the Shinde camp, uh, it's raining here in Mumbai as well. Uh, numbers are uh, also raining, raining there in the other camp. Now, when we talk about what is happening here, now nothing, uh, if you talk about nothing official really coming out at this point of time, uh, Nupur, uh, surprisingly, uh, you know, the, the Uddhav Thakre camp has is on a complete, complete uh, back foot right now. What they are doing uh, politically, Nupur, is that Basically, uh, they are just targeting the BJP. They're just targeting the BJP and the Shinde camp at this point of time. Uh, they are really, really not being able to uh, come out with a very strong statement collectively. Don't talk about Uddhav Thakre at this point of time. We would have expected him to take a more active role. But since he has COVID, we have not seen him leave. We have not seen him leave Matushri for the past six days. Last time we saw him was when he left the CM residence and he came here to his residence here. And no, no really, you know, physical presence of uh, Udav Thakre right now. Are the Thakre, uh, Thakre really taking that lead role uh, in talking to party card carders? Sanjay Raut also, uh, you know, uh, coming out with statements, uh, that piece in Samna, which we broke just a short while back, uh, where once again they're targeting the BJP. Now, Sanjay Raut also has been summoned by the ED uh, in a money laundering case. So, right. when it comes to hectic parlays, uh, what we saw so far from Matushri was a couple of NCP and uh, leaders and Congress leaders go in and come out. But politically, right now, definitely, the Shiv Sena there, the Udhav camp on a back foot. All right, stay with us. Alicia, back to you. Alicia, are we hearing anything from the MVA government as far as this letter is concerned? Because in a sense, this letter questions all decisions that have been taken by the government between the 22nd and the 24th when this crisis actually began. Well, yes, Pur, uh, this is a matter of question and uh, of course there were several letters, whether it is from an uh, advocate who is a Mumbai-based advocate who has uh, even uh, written a letter to the governor, also to the ED and CBI clearly stating to look into the matter because uh, in the last seven uh, days where uh, Maharashtra government, uh, the MVA government has taken a decision over more than 360 uh, government resolution, they have cleared the uh, more than 360 government resolutions and even before we know that pra Pravin Darekar who has also written uh, to governor and after which we know that the principal secretary from the governor of Maharashtra has written a letter to the Maharashtra government clearly asking to get the details with the file that has been cleared, the government resolution that has been issued, that has been cleared. So uh, from the date of uh, 22nd June to 24th, so now Maharashtra government has to give the information what are the uh, uh, you know decision that has been taken in this point of view. Because what is important to know, there are nine ministers. As I said earlier, there are nine ministers who are present in uh, in Guwahati and uh, uh, if they have taken a decision over 360, so of course there, are, there could be some of the portfolios from the, those nine uh, ministers as well. But uh, considering the fact where uh, it is, uh, they have been taking all the decision in a hurry, this is what I mentioned in the letter and that is why uh, the governor office has asked for an explanation. Now they have to give an explanation for each and every uh, government resolution that has been passed from the, uh, from the date of 22nd to 24th. All right, uh, Priyanka, back to you. Priyanka, even as we see this battle that's now playing out between the governor and Uddhav Thakre's government, we're now learning that the BJP is also swung into action. Uh, Fadnavis yesterday met uh, BJP leaders of the state. Uh, what are we expecting in terms of developments on that side? Well, let's put this into perspective, Nupur. Building on what Alicia was telling us about the letter and the point of concern that has been raised about the GRs that have been passed over the past few days, ever since this entire Maharashtra political crisis, in fact, had been unraveling. And, uh, of course, a lot of questions being raised as to why the, this many GRs had been passed and what were the decisions that had been taken by the state government in such a hurry. And it also is a telling sign of whether or not the Uddhav Thakre uh, government actually saw this coming and they were actually in crisis mode at that time. And all of that will be under scrutiny now citing Article 167 of the Indian Constitution as well. Now, apart from that, uh, talking about your question, you know, we are seeing multiple uh, developments as far as the political parlays are concerned because earlier we had seen that the Eknath Shinde camp, the rebel MLAs had been flown to, uh, they had been taken to Surat, then taken to Guwahati. But since that had happened, the BJP had been maintaining a safe distance and they had been saying that we know nothing about this, we have nothing to do about this and that uh, this is an internal matter of the Shiv Sena. However, over the last few days, we have seen as the number of uh, MLAs that are growing in Guwahati in the Eknath Shinde camp, 
more and more BJP meetings that we are, uh, you know, tracking here in Mumbai, in Delhi, and also some leadership movement in Surat as well. All of these things uh, really tell us that there is some kind of a backdoor talks that are going on. And as well, uh, as uh, Shrikant Shinde, the son of Eknath Shinde himself, uh, he, uh, in a conversation that we had with him, he had also stated, uh, he had said that the MVA government, in fact, was an unholy alliance for the Shiv Sena and that uh, they completely condemned this decision of Uddhav Thakre to actually ally with the, an unnatural ally of the Shiv Sena, that is the NCP and the Congress. So going forward, when we were asking him if the Shiv Sena, the Eknath Shinde camp, does not agree with this alliance, so what other option is there with them? And that, to that, uh, he had said, uh, to if uh, point blank, when we had asked him if it is going to be the BJP, he had not answered that. But uh, clearly the signs are there. However, we do see that there is a lot of uh, meetings that are going on. Right now we are at Sharad Pawar's residence. And we are being told that several meetings on that front will mm. also take place because we had seen the NCP and the Congress, in fact, had also been in a huddle since this entire bro news had broken out. And we had seen Sharad Pawar also going to Uddhav Thakre's yes. residence at Matoshri, they having a one-on-one -on -one meeting. So all of those are really coming into a picture, look, looking at the bigger picture in the backdrop of the legal battle that is also underway in the Supreme Court. Right. And also the questions that are being raised on the Uddhav Thakre government as far as the GR is concerned with this letter to the governor. All right, uh, Priyanka, stay with us. Anirudh also joins us live from Guwahati right now. Anirudh, uh, a lot of what happens in Maharashtra will ultimately depend on when these rebels actually return uh, to Mumbai. Uh, you are reporting from the uh, hotel that they are still camped inside. Uh, give us more details in terms of what you are hearing uh, of their next moves as well as the fact of when could they return to Mumbai now. Uh, yes, in fact, uh, as we report from outside the Hotel Radisson Blue here in Guwahati, uh, let me tell you that the uh, bookings for the hotel have been uh, done till the 5th of July. The entire hotel has been booked for the fifth, uh, till the 5th of July and uh, it is subjected to be extended whenever required. This is what our sources who are inside the hotel have been telling us. But yes, there is a specific development uh, taking place. Uh, Egnat Sinde have been meeting uh, his MLS out here in this hotel back to back. There have been back to back deliberations taking place, and particularly after uh, yesterday's uh, relief, or you can say the breather that uh, the Supreme Court have given to the Eknath Sinde camp uh, by not. Uh, going ahead with a disqualification motion uh, the Eknath in their camp is uh, slightly hopeful and uh, even though this MLS all the 50 plus MLS who are here are expected to stay longer it is in all likelihood Eknath in there might leave for Mumbai anytime to ha hold meetings uh, uh, okay. over there all so right uh, Alisha Shivangi Priyanka and Anirudh, uh, thank you all of you for joining us. We will, of course, keep coming back to you guys through the day.